Hey all, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys who needs a sitemap and we're gonna talk about what a sitemap is as it relates to search engine optimization. I am an SEO consultant, but uh, to start, let's go ahead and reference over Google's documentation on what a sitemap is. And so uh, instead of making you guys read all this and I'll link to it in the resources below, a sitemap is uh, an informational resource that Google robots, so their crawlers, can use when they're accessing your website. It makes it easy for you know Google crawlers to understand what your website is about, how you've organized the page structure, the layout. You know, do you have a lot of blog content that you need to get found in Google search results? A lot of you know news or uh, images that you want to break up into different sections. A lot of videos that you need broken up and added into a hub uh, known as a sitemap and a sitemap is basically um, if you see here for my one of my websites here you know we could paste that into Google here and you can see I'm using uh, rank math from the looks of it uh, to generate a, a sitemap also known as an XML sitemap which is what the Google crawlers use to find and understand your website and we could see here from a practical point of view, you know, what's going on here. Uh, and I should state that most websites, you know, when you're using something like a Yoast plugin or a Rank Math plugin, you don't really have to worry about, you know, this information here because those tools will generally help you set up a sitemap when you're first setting up the tool, the plugin. But uh, it's good to submit a sitemap when you have a new website just so you can let Google know like, hey, here's my website, it exists, and I want you to index it in Google so that it can be discovered among the many pages that your website may have. Um, but yeah, this is the sitemap, this is what it looks like. You really, you know, I just let the tool know, like Rank Math, like, hey, I have, you know, I want these pages to be indexed, to be discovered, and now the Google crawler can go into my website and find uh, this particular uh, sitemap and it's denoted by the sitemap uh, and then you know the underscore index dot XML some of them look different but they're all basically sitemaps just written differently and you can also find a website's uh, XML sitemap if you go to the robots.txt so if you add this to any domain name my website name it, my website's name is digitalboxco.com but if we add the forward slash robots.txt, we could see that I do in fact have a sitemap on my website here. And so if you're ever unsure or need to submit a sitemap, all you have to do, if you haven't already done this, is go to Google Search Console. You could do a Google search results. And then you scroll down to the indexing report, go to sitemaps, paste your sitemap and click submit. It's as simple as that and just give it about a day or two and then if everything goes well then you'll see the success here and if it doesn't go well then you can uh, troubleshoot it by seeing what sort of error uh, the sitemap gives you but most in most instances it should be indexable and discovered and you'll see a successful report here but yeah to summarize it's just a way to give google more context about how you've organized your page structure and how frequently you want the Google crawlers to go to your sitemap in the event that you have a lot of content that you know varies that it's updated frequently you could give the sitemaps file more instructions on how frequently you modify your your content but uh, yeah for most people you don't have to worry about that as long as you submit a sitemap you should be good to go uh, so yeah stay tuned for more videos like this one this one was more for beginners, but uh, yes, yeah, you could check out some more of my other content.